Welcome, this is Mayra from So So Easy and today we are going to learn how to make the twisted handles for a bag that we published on Sunday and these are very strong, very easy to make and above all they are lightweight. They are also detachable so if you want to make a longer version to go across your body you can. The materials that we are going to use are very easy to find a lot around your sewing room. So you will need, I am making 19 inch handles. So I am using 38 inch strip plus 6 inches. And that is in case I make a mistake so I can cut away on each end. So that is 2 whatever length you require. Sew it at 3 8 of an inch. You will require the same amount of rope to make uh, these handles. I am using half an inch handle. If you don't have enough fabric around your house, so many small amount of fabrics, scraps from your sewing room and then you can reach the amount that you need. Remember is whatever length you require plus six inches for um, any problems that you could have later on. You will also need one inch ring that opens and these are very important because uh, we need the handle to be removable and these ones will open. A needle threaded with uh, four threads that is not too thick because you will be sewing through the rope. I will be using a small container because I am going to use E6000, this glue dries clear and it will not show at all once it's dry. It will need 24 to 72 hours to cure and it will leave your fingers really sticky so be careful with it. If you are allergic, wear gloves. How much fabric is needed to make these uh, casings? The strips need to be six times bigger than the width of the cord or rope that you are using. So I have, I am using half an inch, therefore I have multiplied that by six and this is what I get. It is large enough to feed the rope without worrying too much that is too tight and it will take me just too long. After you have sewn the strips, they become a casing for the rope. Attach a safety pin at the end and fit it head first. Then you will see that it becomes really easy to turn on the other side. You can also use a loop turner, but I find that because it's so short and the strip is so long, it becomes a real pain to, to do fast. And I want to do things fast and efficiently. So the safety pin for me is the best thing when you are turning really long strips of fabric and making long cases, casings. After you have turned the casing inside out, there is no need to iron because we are going to twist this after all. So all you have to do is wrap some tape around the end of the rope. It's okay if it is frayed. We will be needing the end a little bit frayed anyways to make the handle lay flat. You will see that in a few minutes. So wrap the tape around maybe four inches, not too thick, and insert a safety pin. The size of the safety pin de will depend on the size of the casing and the rope, so don't use a little one because then it won't help you. A big rope, a big safety pin. I will speed the video a bit so you can see the whole process. Once we have finished 
fitting the rope through the casing we are going to twist the handle finally so for that you will need the ring and some masking tape so find your ring which is a I'm using a 12 millimeter ring I thread it through the cord and then I attach it with masking tape of course you can ask somebody to help you with this step but I am alone in the house so I am going to have to do it on my own and this is how for those of you that work late in the night like me tape quite strongly because after a while when you're very much at the end of the rope and it becomes um, quite hard to handle and and um, it will come off and you want this handle to look really professional so start twisting to the right hand side and the other one also to the right hand side and then twist together twist both sides and then join them always to the same size uh, side excuse me that is what makes the shape even and it looks really good why not to the opposite side because once you twist it it unwinds if it is to the opposite side and you can play with this and find out if it's true at least for me and this is maybe the eighth handle I make it's always the same I'm off camera now but uh, I will try to work ideally you have to put some resistance but um, I want to show you how it's done until the end so once you get to the end take out the tape that we used to thread the rope inside the casing take it out and fray a bit so it's easy to maneuver from here on you will see that it's quite thick so the best thing to do is to flatten it once you have frayed the end of the handle so it it's flat as much as possible anyways make a few stitches with the needle and the thread and apply glue in the middle then wrap the thread around the end again a few times and then cut the thread and the next step I will show you a close-up of the loop that you need to make after you bend the end of the handle and apply glue where the frayed edge is located I will put a pin to show you where you put the glue but do not catch the ring you want the ring to be free should the um, fabric in your handle become uh, broken apply the glue right there and keep it for about 24 hours to cure if you are okay with sticky hands then you can uh, immediately get to, to the next step however if you are using a light color fabric I do not recommend this because if you have any dirt in your fingers it will show make a loop this small and place it after the frayed edge we are wrapping all this edge and we need to have the string if you can see behind uh, you can loop it you can thread it inside the loop here is a close-up start 
wrapping from the ring to the little loop. I am using a elastic cord. It's quite um, strong, so I am wrapping many times, maybe three times, to cover all the fabric. I do not want to see any fabric underneath the elastic. I will apply glue in a few places, and then I will show you in very slow motion the whole thing so you can uh, understand and the instructions are clear to you once you have finished wrapping the cord around the handle the edge of the handle thread it through the loop and pull gently Then pull the other side. Notice how the loop goes underneath all the thread. That's what you want to see. Pull until more or less it's under half of the wrap and then cut close to the edge and apply glue right there. Please use exactly the same technique for the other side and then you are finished. I hope you have had enjoyed this uh, tutorial. The rest of the bag is on our website. Please tune in. I will be showing you how to make the bag step by step and we will start with the lining. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye.